Hi guys, it's Mother's Day here and uh, today uh, I'm going to be assembling back the hard drive I removed from the G uh, driver uh, from the enclosure which got broken. I did, uh, I did a, 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 a video on how to remove the hard drive but I had the hard drive uh, into my uh, shotgun flame drive which I was using to just uh, practice some recording and stuff like that so I put the hard drive in here but I'm going to remove it out of here and show you how to install it into an enclosure um, I got a question from Bell he or she said uh, how do they how do we put the drive into an enclosure and if I can make a video on how to put it into an enclosure and there's another one from Android Media that wants to know the brand of the drive and uh, maybe I can put it in, into one or different uh, enclosure so I'm gonna be doing that today because I have one um, first I have a set of uh, screwdriver and um, which I'm gonna use to open the to get it out of here but I'm not gonna be using any tools to get it into the enclosure that I got which is this uh, this enclosure is from I, uh, IZ box and I will try to uh, show you in depth uh, later and then I will try to fix it into here in the easiest way we can do it this enclosure is very very nice for people that are not very technical that they don't know how to uh, remove or do something so I'm gonna show you how to use this this is very simple and easy to use and you're not gonna be needing any screwdrivers or anything to use this so I'll show you the basic of this and I'll put it together for you to see now so I'm gonna be using the same camera because I have to transfer it uh, into recording it so you can see uh, the process it takes so if you're going to be using um, an enclosure that has screws uh, you will need a screwdriver but if you're not using that you don't need a screwdriver so uh, let's go to the bench and try to uh, remove it and fix it into that okay guys um, I'm going to remove this one from here uh, which is just you're gonna like remove the screw um, I got a lot of uh, different size of screwdrivers there uh, which um, in case I need to screw something out from somewhere to another place um, you don't need to go through all this procedure unless you already have the hard drive uh, somewhere so I remove it from here because I put it there just to be able to use it for one thing or the other now we don't need a screwdriver anymore I'm gonna pull the screws away so they don't um, disturb us and for uh, my friend asks for the brand of the drive uh, this is the drive is made in China and it's uh, one uh, terabyte of that's a uh, five 400 RPM. Um, sometimes you don't know what drive they put inside. They tell you whatever they put inside is this and that, but it's not really what they put inside. I, I believe Seagate, uh, Western Digital, sorry, Western Digital already bought this complaint. And uh, I don't know why they don't have Western Digital uh, drives inside them. So, but anyway, this, this is just a drive. It's a 2.5 um, drive. And this is the enclosure that I'm talking to you about. It's so easy. The only thing you need to do is just like, you know, it clips, you remove this. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult to open. That is, that is just because of the security. You just remove that simply, you see. It goes into just like pieces. Um, this is the the other pad. You can actually remove it if you want to. Um, just yeah, this is the rubber that's uh, protected from uh, when it falls down from breaking your drive and stuff like that. And this is very 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 cheap. And um, I believe this company makes different kinds of uh, enclosure for your 
uh, drives and you can get as many as you want so when you have a, a, a enclosure like this all you gotta do is just this comes with it you can see it's intact everything is closed up they have a light here and the name of the company which is I think the name of the brand not the name of the company which is Icebox and you simply just check it you see and you plug it inside just like you're plugging it on your computer that's all all you gotta do in you slide it into the rubber it's, it's a plastic you can see no screwdriver nothing is needed uh, sometimes I believe when you remove a drive from an enclosure from like here they had uh, some screws here holding it up into this case so I removed the screw from here you can also remove it and slide it inside I have some uh, some movies inside already uh, which I record uh, just for trying so you close it and you just close it and that's all you gotta do that is it there it comes with its own cable you can actually use any of those uh, cable out there and it's uh, 3.0 you close it close close and that's all when it falls that's all see it bounces back I, I would try to drop it on the floor and we'll see and I think it's waterproof to some certain limits this goes close uh, when you close it is a little bit difficult to open it back so I think it prevents water from getting inside from some certain limit if you look here at the edge of the rubber there's some gaps there that prevent uh, the shock or the drop uh, shock from getting straight inside that's just all that is the drive is a see-through and stuff like that you can basically put any picture inside if you want a picture like the name of your brand or your name of your uh, whatever you can just simply put it inside to make it more beautiful and stuff like that so that is it guys um, I'm gonna like show you from better views of this uh, enclosure if you're interested I'll put a link down below and you can just purchase one so that is it guys as simple as that I'll do another one wherever you need to use a screw to put it together it's not very difficult also actually it's something I can quickly do but I don't know I don't want a video to be very long so maybe if there are requests for it I'll do that so have a nice weekend bye